today's video we'll be working on this AC. The issue we're having is it is just not cooling efficiently. Now I connected my gauges here and you can see just off my gauges that my refrigerant levels are just very low. To remove our fuse or disconnect and that's going to turn our system off. Sometimes when you're dealing with a leak in the system or low refrigerant it's usually going to be due to a leaky Schrader valve. And you can see here this is my leak detector and it's already just bubbling and that indicates to me that the Schrader valve needs to be replaced. Now we're going to be converting the refrigerant that's in this system. So first we're going to have to do a proper recovery. This is going to be our recovery machine and it's going to be different types of models and each one's going to vary but the concept and the procedure is going to be the same. Make sure that you do have a filter dryer connected to the inlet or suction portion of your recovery machine. See here the arrow is going in and right here this is the inlet or suction portion. It's a brand new recovery tank and right now we're just going to remove this plastic that protects the nipple and you always want to mark on your uh, tank what refrigerant is going to be in here so for instance this is going to be R22 so we're going to write R22 you cannot mix refrigerants when you are doing a recovery so if you have one that's R22 and one that is a let's say uh, NU22B you can't recover with the same tank it'll have to be separate tanks when you do your recovery here I marked it R22 only because in this condenser unit that we're going to be doing a recovery this unit has R22 now I am going to connect my tank to the out or discharge portion on my recovery machine and right now, you can see we have it in the closed position. And here, I am going to be starting my recovery here where it says liquid. This is going to be your vapor. So we're going to start recovery on the liquid side. I'm going to reconnect our gauges to our condensing unit. My gauges, I am going to connect my yellow hose right here to the filter dryer that connects to the inlet or suction on my recovery machine. And as I said, we connected right now to the liquid. So we are going to make sure that we are set to liquid. And then once we do the vapor, we'll close it and we'll put it to vapor. Open. your valve or that your gauges are closed on both sides we're pretty much ready to start the process make sure that your recovery machine is plugged in I do want to mention you can see here that we have three prongs on the recovery machine this is the ground do not break the ground I know a lot of times guys want to use extension cords that don't have the three prongs and they break this and try to just use these two leads and plug it in do not do that you are removing the ground and you want to keep yourself safe Here we have our nozzle set to recover and now we are going to start the process I'm going to turn it on power and then we're going to press start or that your discharge or outlet is going to be in the open position. Now we are going to open our high or liquid and just allow the machine to complete its procedure. Here are my gauges. I already dropped pretty 
much all the way to zero. This is only after literally a few minutes. Here on my recovery machine, uh, it is dropping as well. Here you can see we're below the zero on our recovery machine. See here we're at zero as well on our gauges. I'm gonna close my high side. I'm gonna close our discharge. We're gonna close our inlet or suction. We're gonna close our recovery and then we're gonna turn our system off. To close our valve. Take our gauge and we're gonna transfer it to the vapor side. Open the valve. Here we're gonna set it to vapor, recover, open. We're gonna press start. Wait a couple of minutes. You can see we are already super below the zero mark, and this happened fairly quickly because most likely most of the refrigerant had escaped through the leaking Schrader valve. Close our low side. Close the vapor valve on our recovery tank. set our inlet to the closed, outlet to the closed. This would be the procedure if you were trying to do a proper recovery. If this video was a help, if it was informational, please subscribe.